There are some black men who feel like dating white women is going to be a better option for them. And a few months ago, there's a TikToker by the name of Don Donna underscore TV that made quite the controversial video explaining why black men love dating white women. So associate mind asks me, why do black men love white women so much? Why do you see a lot of black celebrities dating white women? All these athletes, singers, rappers, why do they love white women so much? And me, having experience dating outside of my race, I can give you about two or three reasons. Number one, white women are a lot more submissive and more feminine. They're more compliant. Uh, I don't know what it is, but maybe because how black guys carry themselves, they appreciate the masculine energy and the women are more compliant. They're not giving you a headache, whereas black women are more masculine uh, in general on average. And they give black men a lot of headache. So a lot of black men turn to white women or Asians or Hispanics because they're more compliant. They're willing to follow the man's lead, especially if he's somebody of high quality. And number two, another thing is that the women are, like I said, feminine. They take care of themselves and they help the men think outside of the box because of her friends that are successful or in a different social economic standard, you learn about investments and business. Whereas if you date Shaniqua from across the street, she probably comes from a broken home. And so you don't get that same kind of exposure when you're dating a white woman. Cause maybe she's, if she's not like white trash or anything like that, she comes from a good home. Therefore you hang around her friends and you're able to learn about different other opportunities to help expand your business or help you grow as a person, as a man. And then number three is they're less of a headache, to be honest. A lot of guys that I know who date outside of their race, they're a lot more happier. There's a lot less drama. There's a lot less fighting just in general on average. I'm not saying all black women are headaches, but in general, a lot of white women are less of a headache. They're less confrontational when dealing with black men, from my perspective, from my own experiences, at least. So anyways, that was just what I wanted to share to you guys. So guys, you heard what he had to say. And of course, that is, um, for some brothers, their reality. But there's another reality that a lot of black men are not talking about when they deal with other races of ladies. I'm going to play this particular clip here where you have this white woman who admits to this black man what she's been doing when he was locked up in prison. Y'all see what this broke be doing? Broke all of my in my home, my home, my home. Shirt. Man, she can go every girl. Show did. I, I say I f you. I f uh Eric Walker. All while you was in jail. And I f all them. No and bitch couldn't get no money. Brother, I was getting for perks. Two hundred dollars a day. You don't want legs for. Who does that? That's. And I will be a. I am a. Get real. I was a. I'm gonna always be a. You married a Everybody know me and go poor as a I'm going to keep being a You think I'm going to play with you? So let me say this. All right, I would like to say this. Number 1, a lot of black men who want to date, let's say women of other races or other nationalities. And a lot of times I find out that these black men are having some of the same issues they've had in the black community. That is because these black men are not going after the white women with the class because they're not in that socioeconomic group themselves. It's typically going to be the same way. Now, for some brothers, it's a little different because, you know, they be educated and uh, obviously in the black community, they might not get a whole lot of run so they can go and get a white woman, Hispanic woman, because, you know, they're financially stable, they're educated, they're producers. Any man that's like that's going to do very well. But now you do have 
a certain class, a certain element of black men who that's not what they do. They are not producers. All right. They are not classy guys. And I see so many black men in certain communities. I'll tell you, I'll call out one of them. I've seen it also in the passport bros community where you see these brothers going over to these countries and or even in the black community. Look, I'm tired of black women. I want to get me a, a woman and doing this and that. And, and when you see these particular brothers, they're not doing very well. And one of the reasons why they're not doing very well with these ladies is because they're not doing very well themselves. So if they're going to get somebody white, they're going to get somebody that's like this lady who is acting just like what you would consider Bonquisha, Shaquita, something like that. But now a particular brother like that probably won't even deal with a black woman, but will go out there and deal with a white woman who's calling you out your name. And it happens often. It's I've seen some, even when I was in Sacramento, I see these brothers that got with these girls that was a um, white woman that was, you know, all they dealt with was black men and they didn't deal with just successful black men. They dealt with Pookies and Ray Rays because they grew up in a, some of them have grown up in the black community or in, in an urban situation. And then, you know, you're taking this stuff off of somebody that's admitting to you, I slept with this dude, what you gonna do about it? And all of that. And I mean, like, where's the respect? Number one, for yourself. And then who, who do you blame for this? Again, you can't blame that attitude or that situation on black women. And you see black men, it, it happens all the time. Brothers don't want to talk about it, especially in some of these cities like, you know, in the Midwest, let's say Des Moines, Iowa, Omaha, someplace in North Dakota, you know, and I'm, I don't deal with sisters. Man, go go check the dude out, man. What 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 is girl? See how see see what he going through every day. I had a homeboy, man. Like, and, and he never dated um, black women, right? But his baby mama had slept with like at least three dudes in the crew. Like they'd wait for him to go to work. He would come in. You know, the baby mama used to tell you be in love with the friends. Like, look, I'm a change for you. You know, all at the same time, man, like wait for the guy to go to work and go upstairs and just smash the chick. And he was like my best friend too. I'm like, man, bro, like how you letting this, this stuff happen to you, my, you know, my G like, and, 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 and again, he would always be hating on black chicks. Like, I don't like them that dark or whatever, but just right there, that chick was going around. I mean, the house was hella dirty and everything, man. Just like SpaghettiOs everywhere. It was crazy, bro. I mean, it was insane how it looked in there. And this dude used to be out there like, you know what? Well, my kids got good hair. My kids is mixed and all of that. And I'm like, man, your girl is getting mixed up everywhere she go. You know what I mean? And um, now he just happened to be a little bit of a shorter guy. But it, for those of you who really know him, y'all know what I'm talking about. And, and some of y'all from Sacramento, if you you don't don't comment the name because if you know me, you know him. And uh, yeah, man, it was it was it was it was getting bad for bruh all the time right but um yeah man that's that's exactly how it was but guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk appreciate you for all that you do subscribe with the bell we're out